Hello everyone, it's Bernina Jeff at High Fashion Sewing Machines. I am not an employee of Bernina of America. I have a uh, dealership in Grand Junction, Colorado. And I'm gonna show you, we revisit my invention that I made a year or so ago called the Stitch Regulator Table. And I'm gonna show you how it works with ruler work. And there's a product now out to, you, some of you may have had this for almost two years now, so it's a polishing kit. So I'm going to show you how to use the polishing kit and of course I'm going to have it on my Shopify account. It runs ten or eleven dollars. So what's in the kit is a little piece of microfiber and some flannel, instructions how to use it, and the polish. So the instructions are moisten the microfiber. Then you uh, rub it in circular motion onto the top of your, your stitch regulator table and you do the whole table let it dry thoroughly it'll get kind of a hazy look it'll look kind of whitish and basically you're not polishing scratches out of it you're putting a surface on it then once it dries i've got a dry section over here there's a haze over here this this area is really dry if you could kind of see it on an angle so i'm going to take the flannel and you can feel when it comes off because that flannel just slides right underneath your hand like car wax. This is a special product. It's not just your plain old everyday wax. And it's been specially formulated to work on this particular type of acrylic. So we are going to be selling this on my Shopify account and you can upgrade your table and make it slide really fast. I'm going to show you how well this works because I have uh, my stitch regulator table. And the way this table works is there is a cutout. Maybe we can show what the cutout looks like without this regulator on it. It's a very advanced cutout. People ask me all the time, can I get the cable? Can I make the cutout myself? Can I screw my own thing in? No, you need to buy from so Steady, and you can order it through me, and I'd recommend you order it through me. That way we make sure you get the right product. Uh, the table to fit any machine that is stitch regulator capable. Uh, right now the Berninas are stitch regular capable. You can also get it to fit in an insert in a koala cabinet, a horn cabinet, any type of cabinet basically that is uh, manufactured in the United States or whatever on a mass basis. We can get you an insert with this cutout in it. And if you call up the shop at 970-256-1293 you can order that directly from us. And then we will drop ship it from Oregon to your house, your place. So this this is how it works. It's, there's a cutout, and the stitch regulator screws on with a special screw screw system and hooks into the bottom. So there's there's these little rubber spacers in there and a little screw, and it goes in through the bottom and goes up to the top. Line it in. So there's a better video on this on how to put this on. And then there's a thumb screw that fits in the bottom. So basically you want the camera in the stitch regulator to be as flush to the uh, acrylic top as possible. So this is nice and slick now. So when I do uh, move my quilt, my layered pieces on this, I have something stuck here, there we go. It's going to slide real easy and you won't have resistance and it's going to be easier on your shoulder. You're going to get a better result. And I'm going to show you how well this works. There is another stitch regulator adapter foot that uh, you can purchase, uh, but it will not do inside uh, spin effects on, from Westerly. It'll only do straight edges front and, and left. It, it interferes in the back here. So don't think you can buy that one little foot adapter and get all of your ruler work done. This, this is the only route that'll get you all your ruler work effects done you know, as, as the rulers are designed. So I've attached the uh, stitch regulator and come around the back and I plugged in a cord to the stitch regulator to the machine. And it tells me on the machine that I have the stitch regulator, BSR. And all I'm gonna do is just hold this button in until the needle moves. It's gonna tell me to put in the feed dogs. Okay. And here we go, the needle will move. And as I move faster, the needle moves faster. 
So all those stitches are going to be nice and even. So I'm going to use this spin effect and show you how cool it is. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to spin this over to here. The little adapter feet won't do this part. I have a bad stitch there. There, the template had a little snag on the on the foot. Now I'm going to come down here, and I'm just. It doesn't matter how fast you go to a point. You can't overspeed the regulator. You can, but you just want to make it regular. And I'm going to show you here in a second how cool this quick little app. Uh, ruler works looks on one more to go right up here I gotta pay attention I forgot to be talking here it's hard to talk and do this at the same time I can even use my scissors part on this it's gonna raise and if I would have marked where all these points go you would have had a much better effect there but, see how quick that was? That looked nice in the middle of a uh, quilt block or whatever else. Well, since it's been sold on the, for almost two years now, I have found that the cable that hooks the uh, stitch regulator extension to the back of the machine, sometimes these cables fail. And I have been replacing them on a case-by-case -case basis when somebody calls me. Uh, in fact, you can call me and I will replace one if you have a cable that when you mess around here or the back side, it changes the screen. The other thing, if you want to buy your own cable, this is the secret handshake to the cable. It's a extension cable, 2.5 millimeter, four pole, male to female, one meter long extension cord. And it's used in audios, automobile audio systems and camera backup systems. So that's the reason it's an extension. So like if you put a, uh, a bicycle rack on the back of a um, RV, this is why these extension cords were developed for their backup cameras. So it works perfectly with a stitch regulator. Again, it's not an endorsed product by Bernina and I have to mention that. Um, I've been using them for over two years now and have not had any issues with it. And somebody told me that uh, Bernina wished that they had invented it first, so I know it's a pretty good product. So again, uh, my Shopify account, you can order the 7 Series and the 8 Series, and I'll put the 5 Series um, tables on my Shopify account, and that is bernina-jeff.myshopify.com. Please feel free to call the shop, and we'll make sure you get the right one shipped to you at 970-256-1293. Or you can uh, email me at jpvlefty at aol.com. Thanks for watching.